Hey everybody, so I'm going to be doing a Goodwill haul today. I went to my local Goodwill. This is one of the larger ones that's pretty close to me. Um, I wanted to stop by in on my way home from the farmer's market, as you guys may have seen in one of my previous vlogs. So just came to this local Goodwill. Wasn't sure what kind of sales they were having, just decided to spontaneously pop in. I don't come here too often. I'm more of a Salvation Army kind of gal, but I found some good things in the past. So I wanted to come and check it all out. So as you can see, there are literally no cards left. It was kind of packed that day. All the cards were gone. There was a long line when I first came in, but eventually I got a hold of a card. Thank goodness. And I literally made a beeline for it because it was just one cart, so came in, was checking around all of the different racks. As you see, I already had a pile to put into my cart once I was able to retrieve one. And just checking out all of the racks on this particular day, they had a sale on the green tags. So I was keeping my eye out for those as, as well as just looking for anything unique or cool that I might want to sell at my upcoming markets. Alright y'all, so we are back home as you can see, um, and I just wanted to do a little, well not a little, but this size of a haul. Um, as you guys saw, I went to the Goodwill yesterday, and I got myself some tings. So after everything was like rounded up, I got, um, I paid $84 for all of this. And not gonna lie, I was in a bad mood. And I'm pretty sure that the guy was like charging me incorrectly because most of the items that I picked up were like um, on the green tag and the green tag was the sale tag so 50% off and when I got to the counter to pay for everything there was a sign saying that it was actually 75% off so I was like oh hell yeah I'm about to save some monies like I was all excited and everything and the guy started like scanning and put it, punching everything in and I keep seeing him put in like orange tag, purple tag, orange, orange, purple and I'm like literally watching him and I'm like those are green I like I'm literally looking at the green tag on that item right now and I was just like looking at him hoping that he could read my mind because I was moody so I refused to say anything and yeah so I'm pretty sure I got overcharged for a lot of this shit but it is what it is unfortunately um should have said something but i didn't too late now um but i'll start with these pants i don't know how well you can see them from that angle but they are just these like little grandma pants grandma core um alfred dunner high-waisted pleated um like tan tan pants and I've been wanting like a tan colored pant um, for a while now and I have never like found a good one and I saw this one and I liked I saw that it was Alfred Dunner so I already knew it was gonna fit well um, it was in my size so that was perfect and yeah it was in like perfect condition and it was a green tag so or according to that man probably orange and purple so twice as much who knows but anyways we're gonna leave our saltiness behind for now. Um, 
But yeah, the next item I got was this like super horrible quality. Oh yeah, it's Shein, of course. Um, tank top. However, I really like the pattern, like blues and oranges are like my go-to, and I just like colorful. Bleh. I just like colorful, bright patterns, like regardless. Um, so yeah, that's this guy, and it has adjustable straps and like a little like cowl neck situation, which <clears throat> I like on me. Like I think those are flattering. The next thing I got for sale for my market is this um, plus size. The brand is Isaac Mizrahi Live, whatever that is. And it's an extra large, but it's this crochet vest. And it's got almost like a little sh a shell-shaped design. Like, I don't know how well you can see that, but. And it's just in these beautiful, like, blues, um, greens. I don't know if it was like periwinkle, lavender-ish um, color. But yeah, I thought it was cute. Crochet is on trend right now, and this for one of my plus size gals out there. Um, like cuffed, not cuffed, but like tucked into high waisted shorts or jeans or thrown over something. Like, I think that would be cool. It's super cute. Here's another um, plus size piece. This was an extra large from Christopher and Banks, which is like a popular, well-known vintage brand. Um, and I don't know, I just really like that. It's kind of like a knit tank and it's got this like pistachio lining um, on the collar and on the sleeves and then it's got these like really pretty like it reminded me of sherbet like sherbet colors on the bottom so that was also cute in my opinion Next thing is another Alfred Jenner piece, plus size. It says size 20. Um, but it was like this, I don't, I really don't know what it is, honestly. It was in the long sleeve section, but like with the button downs. So it's technically like a long sleeve button down. But it has these like cuffed, not cuffed, but like cinched in sleeves and like hem at the bottom. And it even has pockets. So it's, kind of like a jacket at the same time um and then it's in these really pretty spring pastel plaid print with like embroidered flowers with beads on it so yeah i thought that was like a really cute piece another plus size for my girlies out there and yeah hopefully this goes to a great home we will see i have a market um, today's Monday, so I have a market on Friday, and then I have another one next Sunday, so hopefully things are good. My mom also wants to put on a yard sale, so whatever it doesn't sell in these markets, I'm going to be putting it up for that. And then I got a piece for myself. Um, so I've been looking for like these little cottage core gingham dresses. Um, this one's like, you know, perfect style in my opinion. Um, it has pockets. Okay, hello. It is not see-through. Like, I can... It's, it's pretty... It's not... I wouldn't say it's thick, but it's... it's it has coverage, right? Um, and then the sleeves are perfect. It's got the little, like, um, smock back, which is perfect. And yeah, it's a size large from Old Navy. And I did, so when I picked it up, I was like, okay, this is perfect. Because if you guys saw my ASOS haul, like, I ordered this blue gingham dress similar to this. And it was just like terrible quality, extremely thin. The shape was just like more boxy than um, like flaring out like it was supposed to or uh, the way it looked on online. And so yeah, I'm gonna sell that because I do not want it. it. Did not fit well. This is a little bit big, but like still, still great. I'm gonna keep it. It's amazing. I was so happy, and it was a green tag, so I'm gonna pretend that I got it on sale. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna think about that man anymore. Um, 
But yeah, I was so happy because this was literally like what I've been wanting. Um, and look at me thrifting it instead of paying probably like 60 bucks or whatever I paid for on ASOS, unfortunately. So next piece um, is going to be for sale at my markets. And it's this long sleeve um, white, green, yellow, and teal button down. And it's got this interesting texture. The brand is Apple Seeds. It's in a size large. Um, let me see what the... It says 100% cotton, but I don't know how to explain this. This situation. This like texture. It's like... I don't know. I really... I have no idea. I'm not even gonna pretend to know. Um, but yeah. Super cute. Beautiful colors, perfect for spring, nice long button down. Um, and markets, obviously, DMV area, so we get, we're in full spring currently. Um, the past couple days has been 80s, today is in the 50s and 60s, so yeah, that's like a perfect piece to be wearing at this time. Here is another piece that I will be selling at my markets. Um, excuse its form I did not button it after I tried it on but it's this Tommy Bahamas like muted neon green short sleeve button down and it's got these like really faint palm trees um, that you cannot even see it's more of like a texture thing is it called embossed because I feel like I said that in a previous video and I don't even know if that's the correct term but it's an extra large size 16 and it was a hundred percent silk. So I tried it on, it looked cute. Um, it was not a green tag, so it was probably like seven bucks or something. And I was just like, hmm, is it worth seven though? Like, I don't know. And I really liked the way it looked on. The color is like, it's not stiff, but it stays in its form. And that was like very flattering um, in my opinion. And Tony, bah I mean not Tony, Tommy Bahamas um, is a well-known vintage brand and just brand in general. And I didn't know if it was worth $7, but then when I looked at the label, I saw that it was 100% silk. And that was it after that. I was like, oh, okay, you're coming home with me, baby. Um, there's some thing on the side that's like embroidered. It says Haras with like a star on it. I have no idea what the hell that is or what that means. We gonna ignore it. Maybe somebody named Hara is gonna buy it. We'll see. And then here is another vintage short sleeve button down. It's the brand Celine, Saluni, Solari. I have no idea what that says. It's a loony collection. We're just gonna go with that. And then it's a size large. And it has this cool, like, Hawaiian water, like, ocean. I don't know what it is. It's almost like a beautiful meadow, actually. It's not even a typical ocean. There's, like, rainbows, palm trees. There's, like, rocks, but also flowers growing. And it already has a cuffed sleeve, which is, I think, very flattering. The texture is a little odd, 100% um, polyester. It feels almost like a raincoat, but not exactly. But this one was super cute, love the print, vintage, good times. Going to be selling that. And then I have another button down. I found all three of those button downs like together, so I was happy about that. Um, this one is another well-known Vintage brand, Bonworth, and then the other label is, she's gone, she's deceased, it has expired, so I have no idea what size it is, but it's definitely plus size, I would say, um, and then yeah, it's in this like, pastel flower print, and it's a good spring and summer piece, I think, um, if you guys know my style, I just love wearing like, button downs especially in the summer and spring like short sleeve cuffed ones with 
like tucked into shorts and stuff with vans or docks or sandals or whatever just kind of almost like an androgynous look so I was happy about that um, even though it's not for me it's just like it's my style it's kind of my brand um, when it comes to my markets and, and vintage collection that I sell the next is another Bonworth piece and it's this I don't know what is this called it's like paisley but it's also corduroy and it has cleats it cinches well the waist is cinched I would say it's, it's definitely high waist and I tried it on it has pockets um, the leg tapers a little bit but not a lot and it's just in these beautiful like autumnal colors and this was just like a great piece um, you know we're going to spring and summer but when I do see something that's like hard to pass up for other seasons I do grab it um, and then it was a green so we're gonna pretend it was on sale <clears throat> but yeah I think that was like super cute little little piece the next thing I wanted for me but it was too big unfortunately you can see that I cuffed the bottom because I'm like two feet tall um, let me undo that oh, almost. and actually somebody already poorly hemmed the bottoms um, to fit their sizing a little bit but it's this like butter yellow pretty sure they're Alfred Dunner yep Alfred Dunner high-waisted pants and then it says polyester but it is so soft so it's not like the same texture as the ones that I'm wearing it's just like buttery so it's it's the color butter yellow and it's made of butter as well um it's not but you know super cute I wanted them for me They're big but they are a beautiful spring color so that's why I got them to resell to one of y'all. We're almost at the bottom. This is another piece. Actually, I need to retry this on because I can't remember how it fit. And I can't remember if I'm going to be keeping it or not. But last year, I thrifted these like pretty identical colored pants. Um, more in a, like a cigarette style pant. And it was like mid-rise, but I like the color and... You know, we're not gonna get into the back story of why I, I got those pants, because it's it's not a good story. So we're gonna we're just gonna keep it moving. But um I love the color, but the pant itself was not great. Honestly, I should grab it and sell it because I'm not gonna wear it. Um but yeah, I saw these. It reminded me of those, but these look like something I could wear. They were high waisted, they were more baggy. Um, so I grabbed them. The it's another vintage brand it's called CB collections never heard of it and it is mostly polyester and then it has some spandex but this is also a nice like soft texture it reminds me this one and the yellow one remind me of a very odd description but um, you know those little like cloths that you get when you order eyeglasses to clean them yeah it feels like that texture so yeah I'm gonna I'm pretty sure these are too big, if I can recall. Um, but I'm gonna try them on one more time, and then, although if not, then I'll just sell them because they are another like. I love these like pastel, creamsicle, popsicle, like colors, and this scheme is just like I'm, I'm loving it. I'm living for it. Last piece to sell is another vintage pants called classic element size large 14 to 16 100 percent cotton and it is this i guess these would be capris um if you're short like me then they'll fit you normal or they'd be like a ankle wide leg but they're these high-waisted um, pants with this blue and green pattern like floral pattern all around it and it has this cute little button and then like a faux fly here um but yeah i thought they were super cute these with like 
button down, a polo, a crop tank. Um, will be great for one of my plus size gals. And then this, I don't know why I got it. I really don't. I'm like, it's cute. Am I gonna use it? Maybe a couple times and then it'll probably sit in my closet with the rest of my belts. But I'm pretty sure I got it for like $1.99, which I think was a mistake because I'm, yeah, it says $7.99, but I remember the guy charged me for like $1.99. But it's from the Galapagos and yeah, I like this magenta color just gives me so much life. So picked her up. Um, we'll see when I wear it. Hopefully, hopefully I do. Um, I'm gonna actually put that over there so that I can you know, wear it now. Um, but yeah, that's everything that I got at the Goodwill yesterday. Hope you guys liked the haul. See you guys later.